Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we calculated or we came up with some equations to calculate the angle and the initial velocity for a projectile if we were given just the range and the maximum height. So it's actually possible to solve a problem like that. So let's say that we have an example here where the range is 200 meters and the height is 50 meters. So we'll get the angle and the initial velocity and then we'll see if there's any limitations to this. All right, let's try it. First, the angle. So theta is equal to the inverse tangent of, there should be a 1 here, there we go, of 4 times the height divided by the range. So in this case, theta is equal to the inverse tangent of 4 times the height, which is 50 meters, divided by the range, which is 200 meters. And it looks like then theta is equal to the inverse tangent of 1. And of course, the inverse tangent of 1, that means that the angle is 45 degrees. All right, that gives us the angle. Now let's find the initial velocity. So the initial velocity is equal to the square root of minus 2 times g, which is a minus 9.8 meters per second squared, times the height, which is 50 meters, all divided by the sine squared of 45 degrees. All right, let's get a calculator and see what that's equal to. So we have the two negatives cancel out. That gives us 19.6 times 50 divided by 45, take the sine and square that, which is 0.5. So the denominator is equal to 0.5, which doubles the numerator, which gives us the square root of 1960. So V initial equals the square root of 1960 meters squared per second squared, which is equal to, take the square root of that, and we get 44.27, 44.27 44 meters per second. All right, so at least it works for those two values. Now, is there ever a point where it wouldn't work? What do you mean? Well, is there ever a combination of range and height that could physically not be obtained? So let's talk about well, the... Have, uh, 45 degrees, so that won't get a maximum range. Yeah, that gives you maximum range. Yes, that's true. But I'm just saying, are there some combination of range and height that are simply not possible? We cannot obtain that. So what I'm thinking is this. Let's take the limits of these. So the limits of these would be that theta is equal to 90 degrees in one direction, so you're shooting something straight up. And the other limit would be that theta is equal to 0 degrees, which means straight out, no angle. So obviously, you cannot get any height. And here, you cannot get any range. So in this case, r equals 0, and in this case, height equals 0. So obviously, well, those two cases do not exist. So that would be, you'd have to go infinitely in one direction or the other direction. All right. Now, if the angle is somewhere between 0 and 90, can you obtain any range and any height? What do you mean, escape velocity? Well, Let's see here, let's say that the height is like a thousand meters and the range is 50 meters. So you want the height to be a thousand meters and the range to be 50 meters. So that the r equals 50 meters and the height is equal to a thousand meters. And I guess the answer is no problem. All you have to do is make the angle close to 90 degrees. Because when you make the angle close to 90 degrees, the range is going to be very small, and the height is going to be, the height is uh, close, will approach maximum. Right? So that's the idea. And then here, when the angle is 0 degrees, height is 0, but then range will approach maximum. You just have to shoot it fast enough. So it looks like no matter what the height is, you can obtain any small range all the way down to 0. At zero range, you shoot it straight up, and you obtain any height you want by just going fast enough. 
how about a really far range can you get any sort of height and you get farther and farther by simply shooting it faster and faster you can obtain almost any range if you shoot it fast enough and at the same time if you give it enough of an angle you can reach any height so it looks like there's really no limitations except for the very end conditions where you have zero range and zero height so it looks like this equation works this set of equations seems to work for any combinations of range and height <laughs> well, but it's applied mathematics, right? It's <laughs> All right, so it looks like it's a good set of equations that can be used for almost any combination of range and height. Okay, looks good.